Welcome everyone. Uh, it's been a long day for Shay and I. This is Shay Carlson, our uh, Journal Star Prep Extra Volleyball Beat Writer, Alec McChesney, Assistant Sports Editor. Um, it's been a long day. Shay. Yeah, just uh, 10 hours of volleyball for both of us at you, least. You were at uh, Pinnacle Bank yeah, all day. Actually, it's more entertaining than where I was sitting in the office <laughs> sure, for 10 straight sure. hours following it all. Um, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, I've got my phone right here. We're going to go 30 seconds Try. per class. Mm -hmm. No, I'll yell at you. We'll okay. go 30 seconds per class. Um, you're going to tell them something interesting from the day, something to look forward to, stand out performance, whatever you got, uh, but you only got 30 seconds. Can't wait. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, class A, and begin. Lincoln Pius becomes the first Lincoln Class A school to advance past the opening round in four years. None of these girls were in high school back then. Right. So very big, very big moment for them. If they can get to the championship match, it'll be the first time since 2001 that a Class A Lincoln-based team has made it. And so a lot of them probably weren't even alive. No, I was in middle school, so I wasn't even in high school yet. So a long time ago. So, so it's been a while. All right, 25 yeah. seconds, not bad. Not Ready? Bad. And Class B, go. All right, semifinal has to start with Omaha G. Shane and Omaha Scott, two biggest rivals in Class B. Probably they met last year in the final. Now they're going to meet in the semifinals. Duchesne just beat Scott in the final of the River Cities Conference right. in a straight set sweep. Scott has beat has also swept them, so anything can happen tomorrow. So it'll be a pretty interesting game. And remember, all of these games tomorrow, all the semifinal games are at Pinnacle Bank Pinnacle Arena. Pinnacle Bank Arena, Okay, yeah. all right, not bad, 25 seconds again. <laughs> now we're going to Class C1, which was at Lincoln North Star, and begin. <laughs> well, just like B, another rivalry, right. Wahoo, Bishop, Newman. They're playing in football, they're playing in volleyball. Right. Just like B, they've met recently, and Wahoo took the Cavaliers to town in districts, 3-0, it could happen again, maybe not. Wahoo looks really good right now. Everything changes, obviously, postseason play once it's, you know, win or go home. But you're right, Wahoo, you know, even just following the coverage, it doesn't mm -hmm. seem like they've really had that much pressure. They're, they're just winning. Yeah, they're right? flying. Absolutely. That was 29 seconds because I butted in. I like it. We're moving to C2, Lincoln Southwest, and begin. Well, Superior, yeah. obviously. Meyer... Last year, led them to a title. Now there's another one. Yeah. You can't keep up with two. Yeah. What are you going to do? I mean, they got pushed in that district final. It's and crumbling. all that momentum they got from there, it's going to be hard to stop them. And, and there's Kaylin and then Shayla is yeah. now a freshman. Great name, Shayla. Yeah, and Kayla, Kayla's only a junior, right? So yeah, they're both yeah. going to be back next year. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you have to look for them to, to kind of run the table here on, on Friday and Can Saturday. Can I say three-peat? I don't know. That's, we, got, we, <laughs> we, we also have two more games. All right. La, no, we got D1 now, mm -hmm. uh, which was at Lincoln East. And yep. go. Johnson Brock. Yeah. Of course. I mean, I'm just talking about defending champions right now, but right. they deserve it. I mean, these both those teams have Husker recruits on them, and they're going to go as far as those Husker recruits take them. Fallon Slut Height, doing more this season, has to do more. Yeah. More new faces on a roster. Played great today. Big time players, and I'm gonna sound like Diggy V here, but big time players make big time plays in big time situation. When mm -hmm. you have a girl like Fallon on the team, you're in good shape. And she's gonna wanna get to her future volleyball court on Ab Saturday. Absolutely. All right, that was 29 seconds. And last one, D2, what do we got? The, la the last class is the only class that the defending champion is no longer right. alive. Why not knocks off Exeter Milligan? And why not's really come out of nowhere this season? Um, they had a lot of matches canceled. Right. They just didn't play a lot of matches early on. And now they're here, and they, they want to win. They have Ewing next, and Ewing was the last undefeated team right. in the state this season. So it'll be interesting to see who goes from there. I have something to say about that, too. Yeah, let's hear it. Why not us? <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't right? think that's ever been said before. I so that's, what, that's it's very cool. Why not us? That's all I'm saying. All right, all right. so tomorrow, uh, what do we got? First game, 9 a.m. in D2 semifinals. All the way up until Class A semifinals at 7 p.m. is yeah, the final game of the day. Uh, you're going to be at, uh, what's your schedule tomorrow? I will be, be starting at C1 at 1 o'clock. Okay. To cover right. the Lincoln Lutheran Warriors, who we didn't really get to talk about, Mariah Buss. Yeah. Just just too many kills. In the count. story, she was compared to LeBron James today uh, <laughs> by our Ken Hamilton. So, um, well, it'll be That's a busy, why he's our favorite. It'll be a busy day. Uh, yeah. Prep Extra on Facebook, Prep Extra on Twitter. Um, I run that, so I will be annoying you throughout the day. But if you're looking for that hashtag NEB preps, <laughs> there's nowhere else to go yeah. other than there. So, final thought, anything? I'm excited. That's simple. <laughs> All right. It's late, but you're going to watch this in the morning, so have a good day and enjoy yeah. those semifinals. Enjoy it.